quarter tones. Now because the saxophone is such a mechanical beast, it's very possible to do quarter tones on the saxophone. We have fingerings for pretty much all the notes, uh, starting at a certain point. So from a written low D up, it's possible to do quarter tones all the way up the saxophone, including into the altissimo. The tone color on the quarter tones will sometimes be a little bit uh, different to the regular notes as it will on most uh, woodwind instruments, but it's usually not too bad. The lower you go down on the instrument, maybe in the first uh, from, from written D up until F, maybe sometimes they can be a little bit colored, um, but the further up you go, the better they should be. There is one caveat and it's the G quarter tone sharp. Uh, we don't have a fingering option uh, that lets us do consistently a written G quarter tone sharp just because of the way the key work is. Some people like myself have made a change to their saxophone. The repair person can, the technician can make a small change to the saxophone and give you that possibility. Uh, but not all saxophone players have that done. Uh, so if you really want to use that note, maybe check with the person performing. It is possible if it's not so fast to do, do a kind of thing with your fingers and make it come out or even do it with the embouchure. But if you want to integrate that into kind of runs and things, uh, it's usually best to check with the performer if they've had that alteration to their saxophone done. So I'll play a quick run up of the different saxophones with quarter tones just so you can hear how they sound. saxophone and this baritone saxophone actually don't have the G-sharp uh, mechanism altered, but I'll try and play the scale anyway. Some people would say that the sopranino saxophone plays automatically in quarter tones, but they're just hating. So in those examples I didn't go through the altissimo register. That is possible. The altissimo fingerings are different from normal fingerings anyway, and then the quarter tone fingerings are different again, so I don't have them all memorized right now. I'm very sorry, but it is possible. If you wrote it in a piece for me, I would practice it and find them. Uh, that is definitely possible. It is possible to go further than a quarter tones with the saxophone. Uh, quarter tones, eighth tones, 16th tones, 32nd tones, tones divided by 3 by 11. Um, if you want to perform it to do these, the best thing is to probably provide a tape part that you want them to play with uh, so they can find uh, the right fingering. But usually there will be uh, an option. Uh, again, in the lower parts of the saxophone, sometimes you might have to use embouchure to, to move it around. It's not as easy, but as you go up, uh, it becomes a lot easier to find fingerings for all different kinds of tuning. It's a very flexible uh, instrument as far as intonation is concerned. Just ask anyone that's ever played with a saxophone player. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
and looking forward to hearing your pieces using quarter tones in the future.